Hey guys, welcome to Drop Time, the self-proclaimed number one podcast that covers the latest sneaky releases. We're your hosts with the most. This is Jamal. This is Luis. Make sure to check us out on Twitter at Drop Time underscore and also on Instagram at underscore Drop Time. Today is January 17th. Hope everybody has been having a good week so far. We got some good things coming up this week. Actually, some good drops. So make sure you are ready for all of that craziness going on. But let's give you a rundown of what is going on before we give you uh, your weekly recap of the prior week. So this upcoming week, Sunday through Wednesday, as usual, there is absolutely nothing. As of now, we'll update you, of course, on Twitter. Make sure you follow us and turn those post notifications on. So if there's any updates or anything that comes out last minute, you know about it. So you're able to go for whatever it is. But kicking things off on Thursday, the 21st, we will see the no tray by Nike Dunk High in two different colors. It's going to be a midnight navy colorway and a light orwood brown colorway. And then on Friday the 22nd, we will finally see the Nike SB Dunk Low Street Hawkers hit the US. We will also see Virgil Abloh's release of his Icons book. We will see the Women's Air Jordan 4 Starfish. And to finish off on Friday, we will see the Nike Air Max 1 Obsidian. And then to end the week off on Saturday, we will see the No Trade uh, by Nike Dunk High in the Midnight Navy colorway only. And we will also see the Air Jordan 5 Low CNY hit the US, along with the next Yeezy release of the Yeezy Boost 700 in the Sun colorway. But before we go into what we will see coming up this week, let's give you a recap of what we saw in the prior week. So, Luis, you want to kick it off with what we first saw last week? Yeah, so on Sunday, we didn't see anything. On Monday, we didn't see anything. On Tuesday, guess what? We did not see anything again. I never see but- anything. <laughs> hey sometimes you just gotta go into it with your eyes closed jamal and then you never you might just hit gold and that's what happened on wednesday so on wednesday at 13th uh the nike sb dunk low pro came out the street hawker edition this was exclusively in asia so we saw the world uh, worldwide release later on on the 22nd so these shoes retail for 110 current resale 650 to 1100 so it's a wide resale spectrum right now so it's, it's pretty good like that's 400 dollars difference jamal that's really big man it's big what do you think that is i mean that's what you get sometimes uh with shoes like this actually i would say most of the time with majority of shoes there's a fairly large gap between different sizes that you'll have like like for a yeezy you can have a size six go for let's say 500 dollars, and then a size 12 go for retail just because oh, yeah I mean, the demand on certain things is way high. The demand on certain sizes is way higher. That size is more limited. That demographic wants the shoe more, so it's more hype. Those kind of stuff. So, Except when it's a 380. When it's a 380, it's just a brick. <laughs> That's very true. All 380s are pretty much bricks at this point. I I, I, I do wonder if they'll ever come out with a color, colorway in the 380s that actually does well. I don't know. The day that it comes out is going to be a revolutionary day because oh, 380... 100%. Yeah, like the 380, it's slept. I get well, it's not slept on because, it, like we we previously said in the other weeks, like the shoe sells out. You know, like don't get me wrong, it's popular shoe, but when you look at it resale wise, it's 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 not. It's just no, not there. Not at it's, all. And which is interesting because I think that's the very first Yeezy model that absolutely no colorways. I mean, not absolutely, but there's not one color that has like solid profit. I think I think they've had every single model at least have one colorway that's really good profit. Which the three eighties, there's yet to be one that's actually that good. Yeah, I'm surprised that the all black colorway. I mean, I still think they I still think they messed up that they didn't actually make it all black. They left that gum bottom. I think that's what killed it. That's my only thought. That's my personal opinion. I think that's what killed the shoe is the gum bottom. Damn, that's crazy. But yeah, that's it for Wednesday. It's- Wednesday the 13th, too bad it wasn't Friday the 13th, you know, it's uh, one of the best days of the week. But yeah, so for Thursday, what came out on Thursday, Jamal? Anything crazy, anything exotic, anything that would have you jog to your neighbors and tell them, hey, enter on, enter on sneakers for me, you know? Oh, 100%. There was, uh, there was that Nike dunk pack, so there was uh, a few highs, a few lows. Uh, the highs we saw, or one of the highs we saw was the vast gray. These were reselling at 120 resell is sitting right now about 180 to 215 
Uh, this was a decent colorway. Obviously, it's doing well. Uh, it's a pretty basic colorway, so you're not going to see anything like crazy. That's why, obviously, the numbers are sitting around $200 on average. Um, but we also saw the Dunk Low Black and White. Those are $110 retail shoes. And resale right now is sitting at $265 to $280. So that was definitely one of the more solid ones of this collection to drop. Uh, it was definitely, it's a nice all around shoe. You can wear it with anything. Uh, it, it stands out enough where, you know, like people can know what you're wearing. But we also saw uh, the black in also women's sizing. So they did the, the black pair in men's and women's sizing. Uh, those, the women's sizing is sitting at like 230 to 300. So pretty much the same price. I mean, at the end of the day, I honestly do. You, I don't think there was any difference between these shoes. I think it was just the spectrum of sizing was different. Other than that, I think you're buying the same exact shoe. Pretty but, much. Yeah. So, uh, to me, I wasn't going for, like, I was going for these colorways, but it wasn't my most favorite. Luis is going to break down the rest of the colorways that dropped. And there's a few in there that those were the ones that were like, they stood out to me. Those were the best ones. Yeah. So we also have the woman's Nike dunk high in the football gray, a bunch of different stores never gotten woman's dunk highs. Got them. Never so that's dunks at all. Like the, I was surprised at the amount of stores that actually got this collection. It was crazy. It was crazy. But yeah, the shoe retail for 125 current resale 237 to $300. So pretty good profit right there. We also have the woman's Nike dunk low gold coast release uh current oh retail 100 current resale 300 318 another banger right there we also have the nike dunk low unlv release retail 110 current resale 214 to 260 this one is my favorite shoe out of all the pack yeah i've said it to me that was the same the unlv the gold coast was second but unlv was for sure the the best one to me Okay, yeah, I remember last podcast, I think you said the Gold Coast was the number one for you. And then you the UNLV? Yeah, well, it was one of those orders. Those two were definitely top of this pack. Yeah, because I was like, yeah, dude, like UNLV, like I've been to the campus and like I've really liked it. And then the shoe just, I don't know, I just really like the color combination, you know? It just goes. It makes it work. Oh, 100%. So, yeah. yeah, so we also had the Nike Air Max 1 Martian Sunrise come out. This is a U exclusive uh as of now retail for 140 current resale 180 to 200 so this was kind of i guess you could say like a sleeper shoe but at the end of the day it's still doing some okay numbers did he go for jamal did he go for this one or did you just sit it out or no nah, you just like it. you know what like i'm just gonna get dunks and that's it i mean i couldn't get dunks because you actually us did not release the dunks yet that was europe so far us was is delayed for for a bit we're not going to see those see them release in the u.s until uh february so but you know what jamal that yeah. that that whole u.s yeah. eu uk thing that originally applied that does not apply to drop time of course yeah 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 of course but i personally was not able to get any i should say oh okay all right yeah thank you for as usual, though, as, as usual i was not able to get any that's no surprise yeah, i should just stop asking that question entirely jamal yeah, but you're talking about dunks. Yeah, honestly, don't expect me to get a dunk. <laughs> I, remember, I don't remember if I've ever gotten a dunk. Uh, I don't know. There's just something about dunks. I go for them, but... Just stay positive, dude. Stay oh, positive. I know. I still go for them. You still have to go for them. It only takes one time to hit, so still got to try. Yeah, but... didn't didn't um, Eminem say that? Something about it only takes one time or something? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's possible. We should get him on an, we get him on a podcast and ask him. Is that something you said one time? Oh yeah, he's a, he's a close he's a close friend. Oh, he's a close friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Guy. We're making moves out here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but back to the Martian Sunrise. Uh, I did not go for these. Uh, personally, I wasn't expecting much out of these. I'm. I, I think just how limited they were is what kept them at these price levels, but. I wasn't expecting. I was like, it's a decent colorway, but I was. I'm. I'm fairly surprised that they're actually selling at this high. Hmm. No, I wasn't surprised at all, man. Well, did you go for them? No, I didn't. Why? You're not surprised. Why wouldn't you go for them then? <laughs> I just was. I wasn't feeling like Air Max ones, man. Like they're not my thing. Like whenever I buy a shoe to flip, yeah, I always make sure that it's something that I would wear personally. Oh man, you're like my. You're like one of my friends. That's what he says. And this guy. 
like like by all means everybody can do whatever they want everybody has a, a reason for their I forget what the saying is they got a reason for something i forget what the saying is but um you can do whatever you want you resell however you want at the end of the day it's your money it's your choice but this guy will only not only but mostly he he focuses on buying shoes in his size in case he can't sell them he can keep them but that's one way i guess that's to do one it. way but i feel like that's just uh, in my opinion there's a lot of shoes out there they sell in small sizes like if you're not a size like like if you buy in yeezys don't go buy a size 10 or higher go buy a size six six and a half like that's the best you can do you're making the most money but hey, i don't know jamal that sounds like a bunch of excuses man because you can what do you mean excuses size, okay you could be a size 10 you get a no, size I'm six, cut it up about, and that's it, it. Dude. <laughs> that's it i don't know man you can make it that sandal excuse. Yeah, dude, you ever seen the easy sandals? This is like a whole new take I on have. it, bro. Don't knock I, until you try it. Bro, I remember right. when people. I remember when people did. Uh, I remember when people did the easy slides before they actually came out with slides. They would cut up three eight uh, three fifties and make them into slides. Bro, don't don't. <laughs> is that what don't, you're recommending? Don't knock it till you try it. That's all I gotta say. All right. Uh, when when I'm in when I'm in a position in life where I can cut up a two hundred twenty dollars shoe. Uh, to make it a slide, by all means, I'll try that. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, Jamal. Sounds like a plan. So that was pretty much it for Thursday. Thursday, a solid day of the week. You know, it's way better than Monday to Wednesday, you know, because there's nothing at all whatsoever. Yeah, but <laughs> but uh, hey, at least they give us like some break in the week. I mean, uh, compared to December, my gosh, there was no time to function. No, yeah, dude, I, I was lucky. I uh, started doing yoga during that break. So I'm a whole new person. There you go. <laughs> It was a perfect time to try new things. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, that was pretty much it for Thursday. Thursday, solid day. But, you know, Friday, the end of the week for some what? people, besides <laughs> Jamal. Besides oh, Jamal. No, that's, the, that's the start of the week. <laughs> <laughs> that's the start. Yeah. That's not ending. That's the start. That's where everything's I, happening. I know, man. It's, 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 it is what it is, Jamal. You know, at the end of the day, it's um, drop time 24-7, 365. You know, that's how we live. Eat drink sleep drop time that's why we're here exactly so yeah friday 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 what happened on one. friday friday we saw the nike dunk low street hawkers so we saw these drop so okay so the so louise broke down on the 13th that's what asia was on the 15th it was for skate shops uh as usual there was no online drop we did cover some online raffles they were some pretty quick ones so they're definitely higher odds than the ones that they just put up for like a week and everybody can enter and the amount of people that are able to enter your chances are very low but we did cover some that were uh like 5 15 something like that minute raffles so hopefully we see some uh hopefully we see some people posting success soon from those raffles but other than that, it was mostly just in-store releases. Not too much going on with that. At the end of the day, that's how SB uh, releases go. It's a lot of in-store stuff, a lot of raffles, and then you'll get sneakers, which we will see sneakers coming up this week. Uh, hopefully there's decent stock, so at least uh, we see a good amount of people getting some pairs. But like we broke down already, retail 110, resale sitting at 650 to 1100. At this point, I honestly don't expect resale numbers to change too much uh for what it's looking like these war these are extremely limited uh most skate shops i saw uh their stock numbers were fairly low as compared to other releases uh so by so uh congrats to everyone that was able to cop a pair uh this was def this is definitely one of the best dunks in the past few years i think like the, it's just uh i think that this was well put together and then to add on top that they had six different boxes and everything like that i think and it's a very unique one it's uh it looks like tie day but it's not tie day there's actually images of things on the shoe i think it's a real nice one oh uh, luis i assume likes this a lot considering this this guy's in love with tie dye so this is definitely probably up his alley no yeah okay. definitely definitely something that i would wear unfortunately i wasn't able to get them so but at least there's another chance there's one more chance to try to get or a few more but mostly one more chance on sneakers um but the other drops we saw were the stray rats by new balance 574s there's two different colorways of these there's a red and a green this was the worldwide release 
uh we saw stray rats do raffle from what i am told from people uh that went for the raffle is that there was a lot of people that were able to cop uh i'm not sure Luis, did you see anybody post on twitter if they're able to get from the raffle no nobody okay. posted so if they did get involved oh i hope to see yeah i'm yeah yeah tweet tweet at us if you're able to get off of stray rats raffle i'm talking about off stray rats site when they did the raffle on their site this was what over a week this was over a week ago this was like two weeks ago now uh i'm interested because uh be, they're like people that i personally know that went for them they were actually able to get off the raffles there's definitely uh actually what what's up with the people that i even know not even posting success on twitter what's up with that i don't know jamal i think you need to get new friends <laughs> <laughs> something like that i just you know, realized Drake. i'm like i'm like wait they messaged me saying hey was was this an easy drop because i was able to hit off the raffle and i just realized wait you guys didn't even post on twitter what's up with that man drake said no new friends but i think it's t- about time you get some new ones your mom <laughs> i'll flip the script and switch that song up to only new friends hey that's it that's the whole vibe right there man uh but yeah so this was the wider release uh wider is a stretch to say in my opinion worldwide is a stretch even not many places got these uh, of course, New Balance themselves released them on their site. Uh, I know in Europe, it wasn't the hardest thing in the world. Uh, I think it was the green colorway sold out quicker than the red, if I remember correctly. But there was definitely a chance. Uh, same with the US. There was definitely a chance it, compared to a lot of other New Balance releases on New Balance's site. But by all means, it wasn't the easiest shoe in the world. Uh, I don't know if I got up to actually... I don't know if I got I, the, the resale prices I had written. I don't believe those are updated because I don't think these shoes are going for as much as I am showing they're going for it. No. So uh, these definitely weren't the one of the best uh, shoes that Strayrats has done with New Balance in terms of resale. Uh, majority of sizes are sitting about like 130 their big sizes are you can probably fetch like 150 or 160 something like that that's for the green colorway for the red colorway uh looks like about the same so there's some profit nothing crazy but hey by all means i think it's a i think it's a solid shoe so if you were able to get these and you actually wanted them for yourself congrats to you uh so yeah that was all we saw on friday and then to finish off the week on Saturday, what were the first few releases we saw, Luis? So on Saturday, 16th, we saw the Air Jordan 13, the Starfish colorway. So these were initially delayed. And then Nike's like, you know what? We're just going to release them. So <laughs> that's how it goes. Like that. Yeah. Go. Uh, current retail, one, one, uh, retail for 190. Current retail, 200 to 240. So if you got these, that's cool. You know what's up? Yeah, they're pretty easy to get, honestly. Yep. Exactly. So, and then we also had the Air Jordan One High OG in the Volt Gold colorway. So these were on a uh, EU sneakers retail one seventy, current resale one ninety to two forty. So pretty healthy profit right there. You know, it's a Jordan One. Jordan Ones have been doing numbers recently. I personally was not the biggest fan of the Volt Gold. I just didn't think it was going to do as good as it did, which is, you know, it's not doing the best, but, you know, in six months, it's going to appreciate, you know, although GS sizes have been doing numbers. So if you're going to go for a Jordan ones high, definitely look into GS sizes, you know, compare the profitability from a GS to an adult size, you know, and then just go with what best with it. What or just go fits. for both or go. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, go for both. But at the end of the day sometimes you can't go for both i mean you can increase your chances of getting one you go for both how how are you gonna go for both jamal (laughs) what do you mean how are you gonna go for both you go for both you use bots you know no no like on sneakers (laughs) you enter for both i know what you're saying saying. yeah if you yeah if you're using bots go for both there's absolutely no reason if you're using bots not to go for both but no, like uh, whenever you're able to, like entering raffles, enter raffles for both, sneakers enter for both. Um, I mean, first come first. I I assume you're talking first come first serve. How are you gonna go for both? Is that what you're talking about? I don't know. I was just I don't know where I was going with that. But well, yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty much it for my end on Saturday. But there was one more shoe that I know is kind of surprising. The numbers that it's doing right now. 
I'm surprised. I don't yeah. know if Jamal's surprised. I'm uh, not too surprised. Uh, what he's talking about is the Yeezy Boost 380 and the... Um, last week I wasn't able to say this. I don't. I might have said it right. I don't think. I don't know. But the ye- the ye- Yekorate? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Yekorate. Something like that. This was a reflective colorway. So retail 230 which that's 230 in terms of u.s pricing uh this was an asia pacific exclusive so uh asia and the pacific islands around such as australia and new zealand got these uh so i i did see so like on some of like the australian sites when you converted it ended up being like 300 dollars us so 230 is like what the like usd suggested retail is but that's not necessarily what happens when you do your conversions to other currencies uh resell right now wh- why'd you change the resell i just checked it where did you see 400 StockX. i didn't see 400 i put the prices i saw i, I i'm literally looking at it right now no get out of here unless did i no uh no did you look at the reflective one the reflective one is what released Oh, it was reflective. Yeah, yeah, it was a reflective one. Yeah, oh. I, 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 I was thinking that the regular and the reflective were releasing, but they ended up just being reflective. Uh. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, anyways, it is not four hundred. Resale is about like two eighty to three fifty. Uh, the good average price is like three hundred right now. In most sizes. Uh, there's a few going for like three thirty, which is again the small size is like six six and a half those are like 330 to 370. uh so definitely good profit in these but keep in mind if you were in the us you have to use a reshipper not many places actually release these online so uh these were not the easiest to get which i think that's where the resale comes in uh so congrats on anybody who's able to get these uh we do mostly cover europe and us so if you're wondering where was the links for these uh, it's not really something we are covering on drop time unless if there's actually a good amount of it is it's it's stuff we can start covering just from what we've noticed our focus is europe and us but if there's a good amount of uh followers that are in the asia pacific region tweet at us tag us say hey i'm in uh, australia i'm in japan let us know where you're at <laughs> australia and start covering well, yeah. What do you, what's wrong with Australia? Why are you laughing uh, at Australia? I'm laughing because there's this one guy. He would add us all the time. Like, oh. he would specifically <laughs> ask for Australian information. It's like, dude, like we're covering. All right. Other than that guy. Can. Well, okay. If if you, if that guy listens to the podcast, hey, add us again, and we'll start covering Australia for you. Uh, <laughs> you have to do it one more time, though. You have to you have to add us one more time. If you don't do it one more time, I'm not taking your vote into account. But anybody else, let us know. And like, if you got, if you know people that are out there, you got friends or whatever, let them know, hit like tag us, tweet at us, uh, that they out there and we can start covering, like we'll, we'll cover what is needed. Cause like we always say, that's what we're here for. We're here to help you guys out. So if that's what is helpful and what's needed, by all means, we'll start covering that stuff. So just let us know. And we'll, we'll look to expand our reach beyond the U S and Europe. Uh, but that is what ended off the week and uh, to come up this week we got a fair amount of releases a lot of good ones uh so to kick it off as usual on sunday through wednesday 17th through the 20th we're not going to see anything but on thursday 21st what are we seeing coming out louise on thursday we have the noter nike dunk high in the midnight navy colorway so this shoe's first going to drop on noter no tray you know Jamal, how he says it, no tray. Like Notre Dame. Notre Dame, all right. Notre, yeah. Notre Dame, no tray. <laughs> it's going to drop on on no tray on the 21st, and it's going to drop on sneakers on the 23rd. So retail, $150. Estimated resale, $450 to $750. So it's a pretty healthy profit right there. And there's also going to be a different colorway dropping, the light wood. The light or wood brown colorway is exclusive to Notre. So... Retail 150, same as the other pair. Resale 450 to 750. So we kind of predict this one's going to do better numbers than the Midnight Navy uh, because it's more exclusive. So definitely keep your eye out for that shoe. But that's pretty much it for Thursday. You know, Thursday is going to be a p- pretty Notre Dame day. You know, I don't there know. That's, 
something yeah, like they, that. There you go. And there what you color go. Would you like better? Um, honestly, I personally dude, like the ore wood. The ore wood? I think You're, it's a cleaner colorway. I don't know, man. You put me in a tough position, dude. I mean, you can look at the pictures of, of each. We'll give you a we'll give you a, a 24 second shot clock. You can look at both pictures. They they okay. The brown ones they don't look brown, and the blue okay. ones <laughs> they don't look they, blue. <laughs> they they they're blue, but they they look kind of gray. Okay, well yeah, like yeah. I mean, it's midnight navy, not necessarily blue. Yeah, I I, I guess like if I if I were gonna purchase, so are you these, telling I'd me that they named them wrong? Hey, maybe they should contact us to help them name them. But I'd go with the Midnight Navy one. That's that's okay. what I would go with. What okay. do you go with the brown? Hey, you know what? I yeah. get, I get the navy ones, and you get the brown ones, oh, and we'll good. just match. All right, perfect. There we go. That's it. Yeah, but that's that's pretty much it for Thursday. You know, Thursday is pretty solid. He's done with start. He wants to move week. on for <laughs> for the shoe game. You know, so what's going on on Friday, Jamal? It's the twenty second. It's almost the end of the month. It is. That, actually, that's true. Uh, January kind of going quick. In my Man, opinion. it's going too quick. You know, there's all these people that started their New Year's resolutions on the first. And I hope they still going with them. Supposedly they started, and it's, it's it's about to be the 22nd. You know, what day is today? What? what let me see what 17th. day. Today's the 17th. And I know some people are like, yeah, Luis, like, I'm going to start my New Year's resolution next day. Huh? Next day. <laughs> we, we too far next in now. Day. <laughs> We're on the 17th, and they have not started, you know. So if, if this is kind of very off topic, you know, <laughs> what we well, used to talk about. the podcast. That's what we're here for. Yeah. So if you had a New Year's resolution and you haven't started it yet, I I just, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Just just do it because if you don't do it, nobody's going to do it for you, you that's, know. That's the biggest thing in the world. If no, Just do it on your own. Nobody about to do it for you. Just do it on your own. Yeah, and so just to tie this back into sneakers, you know, what did what's one of Nike's slogans? You know, just do it exactly. Just do it, and that, that's that's all I got. So what's going on on Friday, Jamal? So on Friday we will see the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Street Hawkers. So we will finally see these release on sneakers in the U.S. This honestly is going to be your best chance to get them. So. I, I swear everybody should be entering. I don't care if you don't like the shoe. Don't go. Don't go. Like you honestly don't have to go for your size. Go for whatever you can. Tell your neighbors. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell every. Tell your. Tell your dog. Tell your cat. Tell your uh, turtle. To enter. Tell your ex. Every yeah. You, honestly, it's worth telling your ex. This is a good shoe to get. Uh, honestly, if these drop any uh, any significance in price, again, this is a disclaimer. We uh, don't listen to anything we say. We are just talking, talking freely. We're not giving any recommendations. Uh, this is not information that you can use for your personal uh, personal gain or personal loss, whichever way it ends up going. But if these actually drop a decent amount from the prices that are now, I honestly see them going up over time. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean you should go buy out every single pair you possibly can at resale, but I could see these going up over time. If there is a significant drop, I don't expect a significant drop in price but if there is i could see them going up over time um but yeah uh luis don't skip out on this wake up for this one make sure you set like 10 alarms to make sure you wake up for this one because you want to enter for this no matter what we'll see we shall no, see, no, we'll see no you entering for this no matter what i yeah, will bro. wake you up in the morning i will <laughs> fly down and wake you up just to enter for these <laughs> that's commitment man that's commitment right this, there man. this is a solid shoe i mean this is a solid colorway. Like I think this is one of the shoes that I would actually pay resale for. You say that a lot, but sure. When that price, oh, I don't know. When that when you go to check out and that price of one thousand becomes reality when you're about to press place order. I don't That's know just that. another day, dude. That's just another day. <laughs> All right, I uh, if you on that level. Go for it. Nah, 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 nah. nah uh, yeah. you, might see a price, you might see a price drop. So yeah, we'll maybe see. it'll get to a point where it's worth buying. Yeah, right now I'm more of a um oh man, I forgot loafers? the name of the shoe. Yeah, loafers and uh it's his van shoe. Uh, what's, yeah, it looks like vans, Ab but it has a check. I mean it has a it has a lightning bolt. Oh uh what are they called? Uh, I know what you're talking about. Storms? 
I think they're storm, storm, something storm, storm. Is it storm? <sighs> Dude, I forgot the name, something man. Like Is it storm? Let's see. I'm just gonna search storm shoes. Storm shoes, storm shoes, revenge storm, revenge storms. Yeah, dude, I have a pair of those and I wear those like every other day. Nice. Yeah, that, 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 that's me right now. That's the vibe I'm on. You know, it's it's uh, it's cold. And you know, when it gets cold, you wear low cut shoes. You know, that's common sense. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, even like I take it as far as wearing uh, wearing shorts like, every day. No, wearing your Yeezy slides that you that you took 350s and cut up. Hey, dude, it's just a lifestyle, bro. Don't knock it yeah. till you try it. I, I didn't knock it yet. I didn't try it yet. I might never be get to knock it because I might never try it, but we'll see. Damn. Harsh, <laughs> harsh, harsh. Uh, but the next thing uh, we will see on Friday, the 22nd drop is the Virgil Abloh Icons. This is a book. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about this. I mean, the retail is 70 bucks. I think it's a decently priced for what the book is it's not a cheap book to make it's a hardback uh high gloss a lot of pictures uh so those books aren't cheap to make so 70 bucks isn't too bad it's uh, definitely a nice display item for the coffee table i don't know how many people will actually open it it's, i don't know how many people actually open those books on the coffee table but flex. hey yeah, you put that book on the coffee table. Somebody come through like, woo, this man can afford the $70. I mean, do you think it's worth owning this book if you don't even own anything off-white? Um, It's Virgil Abloh, like, is it the book? Is it, the, is it like you own the book, but oh, no, I ain't got anything off-white, though. Okay, well, okay, let me bring this up. So in the art community, there's a lot of artists that release books with their art yeah. inside. So yeah, like cause did a book, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, cause like cause like I've been to our art shows in LA where I've gone and I bought the art and I bought the book too, and the books appreciate a lot. So books are slept on by a lot of people. Yeah, just look so, at where Amazon's at. They were a book company at the start. Yeah, and now they they're they're an everything company. You know, they even yeah. deliver food to your house. You know, the kombucha. The kombucha. That's where it's at. The kombucha. Yeah. Yeah, yep. The, you know the uh, the lemon ginger flavor. That's the best one, man. Honestly. All right, if you say so. <laughs> I haven't had it, so I can't knock it till I try it. I guess Ooh. that's what the saying is. Ooh. But no, this is. Uh, I think it's a. It's a I think it's a, it's a solid. I don't know if to call it collector's item, but I'll call it that anyways. I think it's a solid collector's item. It's a solid item to have. Uh, mm -hmm. I definitely, okay. I definitely got those coffee table books that I don't know if I've ever opened, but they're they're not like you hang art on the wall you put a piece of art on the table nothing wrong with it i think it's assaulting i don't know if i'll buy it i think it's assaulting to have though if you into this kind of stuff but would you would you classify virgil as an artist yeah okay so it's a book of art then yeah the art is good for you man all right it's a time in history that we can we'll always look back on and say wow that's it. Just wow. I don't know what else to say about it. But uh, we also got the women's Air Jordan 4 Starfish. Uh, retail on them is 200. Resale right now, honestly, is not the greatest. It's in that 210 to 300. Uh, definitely some sizes that have profit right now. But I don't know. At the end of the day, unfortunately, it's tough to say. Maybe it's an, adv it's an advantage to some, disadvantage to others. Uh, when uh, Jordans are in women's sizing, they definitely don't go as high as when they're in men's sizing. At the end of the day, it doesn't go as big in sizing. It only goes to about a men's size 10 and a half. Is that correct, Luis? 10 and a half? Yeah. So uh, it kills a good amount of the market. But if you're trying to get the shoe, it makes it easier. It makes it cheaper. It makes it better all around for you. So nothing wrong with it if you actually want this for personal. Um, but I'm not expecting too much of the shoe. It's a decent colorway. I don't, I don't know about your opinion, Luis, but... I don't think it's like it's all right. I don't think it's the greatest take on the starfish colorway. I think they kind of killed it. They made it way too dark of a shoe. Uh, it's all right. It's it's nothing right home about you know. It... Yeah, don't go tell the neighbor about this one. The neighbor ain't need to know about this one. Uh, but yeah, if you're going for these, uh, I'm not expecting them to be that hard of a shoe to get. I think they'll be about as hard to get unless they for some reason end up being extremely limited, but. I expect them to be as hard to get as the 13 starfish 
Uh, but the last thing on Friday we will see is the Nike Air Max 1 Obsidian. So retail on them is 140. Don't sleep on these. A lot of people, I personally slept on the Martian Sunrise. I think, I don't know if these will do as good as those. I don't expect them to do as good, but I think they will be a fairly decent shoe. Resell uh, is about 160 to 200. If they stay about as limited as the Martian Sunrise, expect resell to stay around there because the Martian Sunrise didn't actually move too much in resell after the drop since they were so hard to get, so limited. Uh, so yeah, might be worth something watching out for and not sleeping on. Uh, but that's all we'll see on Friday. And then to end off the week, what are we going to see on Saturday, Luis? So on Saturday, you're going to see the No Trade Nike Dunk High Midnight Navy come out again you know so they came out earlier they're going to come out earlier in the week but we're going to have another opportunity to get them again so so far they're only on us sneakers and notary notary but we might see them release on other uh locations around the world so definitely have notification enabled on twitter that way you're, you're up to date so resell um resell retail 150 current resale 450 to 750 so a pretty healthy profit right there and we also have the Air Jordan 5 Low CNY come out. Again, this shoe is going to be on US sneakers, but it's already released in China. They released last week. Um, so far, they're not loaded on the EU nor UK sneakers apps. So they might be loaded. They might not. You know, there's a lot of issues going on right now with logistics. So keep a lookout for that. Retail is $250, $215 resale 225 to 250 so this is a to five low you know what can you say about a five low you the know low kills it but i think the colorway is amazing the like, colorway is amazing color colorway the fact that it has the tearaways and that, like what's underneath the tearaway looks great i think yeah a low kills it. it it's cool and everything dude but at the end of the day it's it's a low yeah and who wants a low I for sure do not want a low. Yeah. It's not just something that's within my life plan, you know? It's not in there. There's uh, there's not much of a reason for it to be. There's there's a reason that Jordan wasn't playing in the five lows. They came out after him. You can roll your ankle. It's a low. You know, like, when I when I when I play basketball, I just put highs on, you know. Yeah, because you gotta be you gotta get those ankles protected while you dunk it on people. Exactly. Jamal knows, you know Jamal. And you know, and just because you know, you're gonna talk about the Yeezys, man. <laughs> All right. So the last thing we'll see this week dropping is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 in the Sun colorway. Uh, to me, this is a massive hit or miss shoe. Uh, some people like it. A lot of people hate it. I think it's kind of either one way or the other. You either like the shoe or you hate the shoe. Retail on them is 240 as of right now. Uh, I don't. I don't know how confirmed that retail is. What I, actually? What what the heck are the retails on seven hundreds? I don't even. I can't. I can't even think of it. What's what's the retail on a seven hundred? I don't know. Okay. So I don't think it'll be any different price than a seven hundred. But let me look. Let's see. I don't know if the I, I don't know if the place I got the pricing from was uh, the most accurate. But uh, three hundred. So maybe they dropped the price on these. Maybe I don't know, man. If they drop the price on these, then this actually might be decent. If enough people actually like the colorway, uh, pricing usually on a seven hundred is three hundred dollars. These are right now set to be two forty, so maybe we actually see a price drop that Adidas did on the seven hundreds. That'd be very nice. I'd very much appreciate that. It's a solid model. Seven hundreds are a good model in my opinion. The Sun colorway, eh? I don't really like it. Uh, I don't know about like Luis. What are you feel in this colorway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm a big fan of the colorway. It's something different, you know. Um, the so sun. here's the big question: Is it something that you would buy, especially considering if they actually did this price drop of two forty? Yeah, dude, it'd go perfect with my Phoenix Suns shirt. Are you sure about that? Maybe I don't know. All right. Well, okay. I mean, you can wear it with the Phoenix Suns shirt. See, Phoenix Sun. Uh, Phoenix Sun. It's yeah. just yeah, dude. It goes yeah, you, perfect. No, you can wear. You can yeah. By all means, you can wear with the Phoenix Suns. Uh, I didn't know you uh, from Arizona. Uh, that's bro. New. Phoenix Suns. Why are you a Suns fan? I've always been a Suns fan. 
not a Lakers fan or a Clippers fan. You, we all know the Clippers are the real LA team. <laughs> and then what the heck are the Suns? The Suns are from Phoenix, bro. Oh, that's Phoenix it? Suns. Okay, all right. So you a Clippers fan and a Suns fan. All right. Yeah. Are you, you're not a Suns fan? Uh, no, not necessarily. I can't say I'm a Suns fan. Like, I appreciate the Suns probably mostly... Uh, I don't know, maybe because Barkley played for them, and Barkley's a funny guy, but I'm not like, yeah. I mean, they did it's, good it's in the like, bubble, which I appreciate that. It's kind of like the underdog story. Yeah, dude, it's like when you asked me, like, hey, Luis, like, what's your baseball team? What's the obvious what's answer? Uh, the obvious maybe. answer is, no, it's the Toronto Blue Jays. <laughs> what? What? Are you, <laughs> are you out here in Canada, too? Dude, I've always been a Toronto Blue Jays fan. Always, Why? always. I've, I, Have you ever been just, to Toronto? I've never been outside. Well, I, I've been near Toronto. You know, I've I've been to, to what, uh, No. Oh. I've been to Chicago. Uh, that's near <laughs> Toronto. I don't know about that's that. the nearest I've been. I'm, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. It's, it's, it's the what, where did Toronto come from? Like, why Toronto Blue Jays? Like, what sparked the 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 want to support the Toronto Blue Jays? If you even remember, I mean, maybe you've been a fan for so long you don't even know why. Well, I'm a big fan of the Edmonton Oilers. Do you know? Do you know who that is? They're in the, they're in the NHL. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm a big fan of the Edmonton Oilers, even though they're not the they're not the greatest team. Okay. <laughs> they always seem to lose when they play against the LA Kings for some reason. I don't know why, man. But um, Probably because the Kings are better. I, I don't know, man. That's 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 I would that's, assume that's, that's, that's why you thought. lose. <laughs> that's food for thought, man. So oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, when you look at sports, you just gotta look at teams, you know, in the league, you know, and then they just you just gotta look at the mascot. Yeah, it's not look necessarily who's actually a better team. Yeah. It's about, it's just it's literally about the design, Jamal. It's not about the team. It's about the design. <laughs> it's about the design of the jerseys. Yeah, dude. All right. So it's a fashion contest out here. Yeah. If you're not picking your okay. sporting okay. teams by fashion, then I don't know what you're doing, man. I think you're just doing you're doing it wrong. I, uh, th- honestly, that might be the problem. I might be doing it wrong. I might need to switch up uh, who I'm supporting. I have to yeah. reevaluate uh, the the uniforms of uh, the teams I support. Exactly, exactly. All right, uh, but yeah, okay. Back to the Yeezys. Uh, the resale right now is about four hundred to five hundred. We'll see how limited these are. This is definitely a colorway that's out there, which that has worked for Yeezys in the past. Those out there colorways have actually ended up doing well. This might be one of those cases that the colorway is so crazy, people want them and appreciate what they are and go for them uh so if they're if they're limited i expect decent resale that 240 price tag i hope i really hope that's what they keep because that'd be a very nice price break for just the fact that if like just for the people that want them for personal 300 dollars for a 700 i'd never understood the pricing when you have a 350 for 220 and then you have a 380 for 230 i mean not even reflective 350s or 380s are as much as 700s. I never understood the 700 pricing. I mean, you even have a 500 for 200 dollars. Like, there's absolutely no reason the 700 is 300 dollars. Dude, the 700 is just a beast of its own, dude. And just gotta respect the 700 for what it is. You know, don't do not offend it. Yeah, but it, go with. But it. it demands it demands a a, a, a 78 dollar price bump. Yeah, dude. How do you think they? Because of what it is. When you look at all the other Yeezys, they're not as high as these as this one. You know, this is the highest one. Yeah, it's high. Yeah, like, it's high. Like the ankle? It's like it's higher off the floor. Oh, you are you talking about the sole? Yeah, dude. Oh, so we're we're pricing them off how thick the sole is? Exactly. That, that, that extra thickness of boost costs an extra eighty dollars. Dude, when you wore boost before for a long time. I have, yeah, I have. Then okay, so how do you feel when you go back to non boost? I can't remember the last time I wore non boost. I've only been wearing boost for the past like what four or five years. Exactly. That's why the price break is worth it. For that extra thickness. That yeah. Worth, all right. Uh, to each his own. I don't see it. 
Uh, 240 makes a lot more sense to me on a 700. Yeah, I mean, either. I'm just saying so. <laughs> All of that, you you out here arguing a side you don't even agree with? <laughs> it's a podcast, man. We got to argue, you know? Okay, fine. So, yeah, you took one side, so I can take the other side. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get that, but I guess I can get that. Anyways, uh, I think this will be a decent shoe. if like That pricing is going to make that massive difference. If they actually keep that lower pricing, I think that's where you'll see the real benefits. Um, but... Definitely look out for those. Uh, go for them if you're wanting them. If you like that color, if you mess with that colorway, definitely a good thing to look out for. But that will do it for the week. Uh, again, if you guys got any questions for us, let us know on Twitter. Uh, tag us with where you're located at, like we talked about before. If we need to expand what we're covering, let us know. Uh, you agree with that, Luis? You trying to yeah, you're trying and- to cover more of the world? Yeah, yeah, definitely. One thing, though, that I kind of want to start doing is people send us um, them wearing their shoes. Of them wearing their shoes? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice to see. Them wearing their shoes or, like, it might be tough to show, like, how would you show, like, like, you're able to cop and, like, you're flipping shoes? Like, how would, pe- how would people show, like, I don't know, do you show, like, your successful sales or something? I don't know how you would sh- show that. Nah, dude, I just want to see pictures of people wearing the shoes that they get, you know? That's that's what about the people that don't wear the shoes? What about the, the resellers? Well, they can just tag us on success. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's they can, at least, they can at least tag us when they hit. At least that. Yeah, at least. That'd be I nice. Think- at least get some success once in a while, you know? Yeah, that, that's one way to look at it. But that's pretty much it for the week. It's going to be a pretty solid week. There's a lot of opportunities to do a lot of things. So once again, thank you for listening to Drop Time, the self-proclaimed number one podcast that covers the latest sneaker releases. Make sure that you follow us on Twitter. You can subscribe to us on YouTube for the podcast. You can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and wherever else you get your podcasts and stream your podcasts. Uh, Let your friends, family, neighbor, whoever you need to know about this. Uh, It's definitely, in my opinion, I mean, not not to boast anything, but I think we got some solid information for people out there looking to get in the resale game or just looking for an opportunity to be able to buy all of these shoes that they see online, they see everybody buying but they can't understand how they're able to buy them. Uh, That's why we're here. We're here to help you guys out, help you figure out how to buy this stuff, let you know where everything is dropping, let you know what to go for, what not to go for, uh, what's coming out, everything like that. So if they don't know about this, uh, make sure you you turn those post notifications on. That is, honestly, that is the most important thing. Second most, listen to the podcast because that's where you get the information at, the inside, the deep information. But Turn those post notifications on. Without the post notifications, I'm going to put it out there. Don't expect success. If you don't have the post notifications on, don't expect anything. You have those on, you hitting. I already have. I have testimonies. That's what they call, yeah? Testimonies? Yeah, yeah. That that I have have people I personally know. For whatever reason, they, they slept on on the on the twitter they i don't know why they knew about it they slept on it they were not able to get this is a specific example they were not able to get ps5s or xboxes since the release months after it took i'm not joking two days they followed the twitter account they put those post notifications on two days they hit a ps5 and an xbox within two days so uh i think it's worth it i i definitely think that's it, it, it is information that is valuable it's worth turning those post notifications on you get a lot of out of it it's not costing you anything and you don't have to worry about trying to find stuff like we put the information out there for you so it's definitely a one-stop end all be all so we appreciate everybody out there we appreciate all the follows uh tag us with any of that success like Luis said he wants to see those feet on those those shoes on the feet so post those pictures too of that success when you get the shoe in Throw that on the feet. Take a real quick picture and tag us. That's a. Uh, it'll make Luis's. Uh, honestly, it'll make his year. So let's let, let's be out here making that New Year's resolution is to make Luis's year by posting success pics. Uh, deep. That's deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we really need. We we need the success. That's what we want. Like he talked about people waiting on the New Year's resolution. Forget all the New Year's resolution. Just make the New Year's resolution to post success. That's that's it. That's the number one resolution everybody should be putting on their list. On behalf of the Drop Time team, we wish you good luck, good health, and good vibes all around. Peace.